With federal Labor ahead in the polls and looking like it may win the next election, many of you are wondering, and we've been discussing it on this show and others, whether the party can be trusted on foreign policy issues like China and Israel, particularly under Anthony Albanese, the deputy Labor leader in the Senate. So Labor's deputy leader in the Senate, Susan Lyons, gave a highly inflammatory speech this week where she attacked Israel for the crime of apartheid. Have a look at this. The Amnesty International report published last week confirms Israeli policies against Palestinians fit the definition of the international crime of apartheid. The report follows a long list of other institutions and human rights organisations, international, Palestinian and Israeli, that have analysed and confirmed the policies of successive Israeli governments constitute apartheid. Amnesty International is calling on Israel to dismantle this cruel system, and the international community must pressure it to do so. Senator Lyon. That is not a Greens senator. That is Labor's deputy Senate leader, Susan Lyons. Now, this senator has a history of anti-Israel remarks, as you can see on your screens now. At the launch of the WA Labor Friends of Palestine in 2019, Susan Lyons complained about the power of the, as she put it, Israel lobby in impacting on the Labor Party's policies. The article also quoted her as saying previously that a two-state solution was not achievable, even though it was a position Labor has held for some time. So this senator, Lyons, is part of Labor's Senate leadership team. And Anthony Albanese has praised her often. At a press conference in June 2019, Albanese said he'd promoted Lyons to be Deputy President of the Senate. He said she's from Western Australia and he said West Australians will have a direct say in formulating Labor policy for the next election through appointments like hers. Then in August again, Albanese praised Sue Lyons as a terrific Senate Deputy President. And again, in another press conference in April 2021, Albanese said how talented she is. To discuss this, let's bring in Queensland LNP Senator Matt Canavan and former Labor MP Michael Danby. Michael, I warned you when you decided to quit federal parliament that you shouldn't do so because you, are one of, you were one of the strongest voices defending Israel in the Labor Party. How do you feel when you hear Sue Lyons get up in the Senate just this week, Tuesday this week, and make those remarks? And more importantly, can we trust Anthony Albanese on Israel? Well, Sue Lyons is a little-known socialist left senator from West Australia. It's worse uh, in one sense, Shari. She's slated to become president of the Senate, a third-ranking person in Australia, if there's a change of government. And um, uh, her comments are uh, just extreme. The context is, you know, we've got an Arab party as part of the new Israeli coalition and all of the Arab states are making uh, peace, uh, peace with Israel. The amnesty report is unfair, untrue and unjust. Um, just this week, The Economist said uh, Israel was one of the higher ranking democracies in the world in, and the highest ranking one in the Middle East. So we've got this grim socialist left senator from West Australia who never says anything about the million Muslim Uyghurs. If you're so concerned about Muslim uh, people, Sue Lyons, why don't you say something about the Uyghurs who are being dragged into concentration camps by the Chinese communists? You never say anything about that, but you're always lashing Israel. It says a lot about her warped ideology. And frankly, I, you know, when I was in the Labor Party, I was always opposed to the socialist left. And she's just demonstrated again to Australians why it's a, a worry and a concern that people like her will be elevated if uh, uh, and when we're elected into government. And I think we will be because the Morrison government is so hopeless. It, it just shocking, it, just to reiterate what you said at the, at the start of that brilliant and powerful answer, Michael Danby, that she will be the president of the Senate if, a Labor, if, if there's a Labor government, uh, w which many are predicting and the polls predict. And if there's one comment to make about Bill Shorten, it's that he was a firm friend or he is a firm friend of Israel. 
Matt Canavan, I want to bring you in. What is your response to these comments from Senator Lyons? You know, you're in the Senate. You see these people every single day in action. How widespread do you think this kind of sentiment is in the Labor Party? You know, I've been talking tonight about can we trust the Labor Party on China, and, and I interviewed James Patterson about that, and on Israel, and these are genuine questions that people are asking. Foreign policy under Anthony Albanese is very different to foreign policy under Bill Shorten. Well, um, the left's in control of the Labor Party uh, today. Uh, Shari, good people like Michael have, have left. Uh, Joel Fitzgibbon's out the, going out the back door. and The left is in control. Now, now Anthony Albanese and the Labor Party will do everything to hide these crazy radicals uh, ahead of May. Uh, but if, after May, we have Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, it'll be him that will be pushed, pushed and prodded uh, by the left-wing forces of his party, including by... People like Senator Lyons, as uh, Michael said, he's absolutely right. I know in the Senate she's the deputy uh, president at the moment. Uh, she is effectively the president-elect of the Senate if the Labor Party were to win. She would be in the queue greeting world leaders, whether they be from the Middle East or other countries. She would be the ones greeting at the uh, world leaders, the face of Australia to the world. And this is an outrageous argument uh, from Senator Lyons. The Amnesty International report is incredibly biased, as Michael has said. Absolutely. And more to the point, it completely ignores uh, the inequities that exist in the Palestinian-controlled areas uh, uh, of the Levant. Uh, um, in Palestine, for example, it is illegal for, Jew for a Jew to buy real estate. In fact, it's punishable by death if you sell real estate to a Jew in Palestine. I think that, if, if, if Israel's apparently got an apartheid state, what does it say about the PLA? What does it say about the Palestinian ter territories? There is just silence. And so the Labor Party here, I think Anthony Albanese has to come out. He's been very wishy-washy. He's never really uh, put, put... The media never really put his hand on the hot plate. He has got to come out and, and condemn this or his silence will say he must agree with it. Well, I, I will be very surprised if he does. I, I wait. You know, I hope I'm wrong. I hope he does, but I, I very much doubt he will.